Let's see how to do long subtraction, also known as column subtraction, with double digit numbers. To do that, we'll work through the two examples that we see here, and in doing so, we're going to learn how to subtract with and without borrowing. Another way of saying that would be with and without regrouping. So let's get started. For the first example we have here, we need to calculate 68 minus 25. To do that, the first thing I do is rewrite this subtraction vertically. Here's what I mean. I write 68, like so, and directly below that I write 25. Notice that when I do this, I make sure to write the 5 directly beneath the 8, and the 2 directly beneath the 6. That's to make sure that all of the units are vertically aligned, and all of the tens are vertically aligned as well. Finally, because we're subtracting, I make sure to write a minus sign right here, and I underline all of that. And now, although we don't have to, I like to add a dotted line like this right between the units and the tens. There we go. And in fact, I also like to write a U at the top of the units column, as well as a T at the top of the tens column. In doing this, I've made two columns, one for the units, which we could also call ones, as well as one for the tens. Now that that's done, we're ready to get started. When working through this, we start with the units, and then we'll take care of the tens. So in the units column, we have 8 minus 5, and 8 minus 5 is 3, and we write that at the bottom of the units column, right here. Now that that's done, we take care of the tens. We have 6 minus 2, and 6 minus 2 is 4, which we write at the bottom of the tens column, right there. And we're done. 68 minus 25 is equal to 43. And in fact, we could go ahead and write our final answer as 68 minus 25 equals to 43. Done. Now let's look at the second example. We have to calculate 72 minus 48. Well, to get started, we rewrite this in exactly the same way that we rewrote the first example. In other words, we write this as 72, and we write 48 directly beneath that. And since we're subtracting, we write a minus symbol here, and we underline all of that. The next thing I do, remember, I split the units and the tens with a dotted line, like this. This creates two columns, one column for the units, or the ones, as well as a second column for the tens. So at the top of the units column, I'll write U, and at the top of the tens column, I write a T. All right, we're now all set. Just as before, we start with the units column. And so we have 2 minus 8. But since 2 is less than 8, we can't simply subtract like we did in the previous example. No, instead we need to do something. And here's the idea. Looking at the 7, which is next to the 2, this 7 means 7 tens. And so the whole idea is we're going to borrow one of the tens from 7. In other words, we're going to take one of the tens away from these 7 tens, and we're going to write it in the units column. And in doing so, this 2 is going to become 12. But since we borrowed that 10 from the 7 tens we had here, we need to replace this 7 by 6. And this process is often known as borrowing or regrouping. Now that that's done, looking back at the units column here, we have 12 minus 8. And 12 minus 8, well, that's 4. So we write 4 at the bottom of the units column. And now that we've taken care of the units column, we take care of the tens column, in which we have 6 minus 4. And 6 minus 4 is 2, so we write 2 at the bottom of the tens column. And we're done. We can now state that 72 minus 48 equals to 24. In other words, we can now write 72 minus 48 equals to 24. And that's the answer. And so that's how to do long subtraction or column subtraction with double digit numbers with and without borrowing. And that's it for this tutorial.